Welcome to this OMI video tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to integrate SiteScope into OMI so you can use OMI as a single pane of class for monitoring across the IT enterprise. The direct SiteScope OMI integration enables SiteScope to generate and send events to OMI whenever a metric in a monitor changes status, like when a CPU threshold is exceeded. These events are related to corresponding configuration items and can set health indicators and key performance indicators in OMI. Using OMI's performance dashboard, you can analyze metric data collected by SiteScope. If you need access to the SiteScope UI, you can use the SiteScope multi-view component embedded in the OMI UI, or you can cross-launch into the SiteScope UI from an event or configuration item. While it is not shown in this video, Note that SiteScope monitors can be centrally configured using OMI monitoring automation. You can set up auto-assignment rules so that monitors are deployed automatically when new CIs are added to the OMI RTSM. SiteScope can also be integrated indirectly via an APM system, but this scenario is not covered in this video. For details on this indirect integration scenario, please see the SiteScope manuals. There are six steps to configuring the SiteScope integration. To enable SiteScope to send events to OMI, install an operations agent on the SiteScope server and configure SiteScope to use this installed agent. Then configure the operations manager integration in SiteScope. To be able to connect to an OMI system that uses HTTPS, you need to import the certificate of the certificate authority that issued the OMI web server certificate into SiteScope. You might have already done this as part of the SiteScope HTTPS setup. To enable SiteScope to send topology to OMI and for OMI to deploy monitoring to SiteScope, set up a connected server for SiteScope in OMI. The last step is optional. You can adjust the common event mapping in SiteScope to change what information is contained in the events that SiteScope sends to OMI. Please note that you can integrate multiple SiteScope systems into one OMI system. Start by installing the operations agent on the SiteScope system. Mount the installation media and then install the operations agent on the SiteScope system. As you will later activate the agent in the SiteScope UI, install the agent using the options minus I minus A. This takes a few minutes. Verify that the installation finished successfully, then launch the SiteScope configuration tool. Check the box Configure Operations Agent installed separately. Also check this box and click Next. Then restart the SiteScope service as instructed, so that SiteScope knows the environment variables set by the agent configuration in the preceding task. Then in SiteScope, go to Integration Preferences and create a new Operations Manager integration. Specify the name of the OMI Gateway Server or Load Balancer that SiteScope will connect to. Unselect the last option and click Connect. This activates the agent and sends a certificate request to the OMI server. This takes several minutes. Check the result. The text tells you how to grant the certificate request on the OMI server using command line interfaces, but you don't have to log into the OMI server. You can also grant the request using the OMI UI. In OMI, to manage certificate requests, go to Administration, Setup and Maintenance, Certificate Requests. This page shows all your certificate requests and their state. 
You can manually grant requests here, but you can also automatically grant requests based on IP address ranges or node names. Grant the request. And return to site scope. Click install policies. Check the result and close the window. Make sure to select the following settings. Enable sending events, connect directly to VSM, prefer events over metrics. Then click on send test event. In OMI, verify that the event was received. Then return to SiteScope and click OK to save the integration preferences. This completes the integration of SiteScope events into OMI. Now go to Certificate Management and import the Certificate Authority certificate that issued your OMI Web Server certificate if it's not already included in the out-of-the-box list. Obtain the certificate from the issuer. If you use a self-signed OMI certificate, see the OMI installation guide subject using TLS in OMI how to export it. To enable SiteScope to send topology to OMI and for OMI to deploy monitoring to SiteScope, set up a connected server for SiteScope in OMI. Enter a unique name for this connected server. Click Next and enter the fully qualified domain name of the SiteScope server. Use admin as username and specify the password and port number. If you're using secure communication, make sure the use secure HTTP option is selected. Click test connection to check that the specified connection attributes are correct. If an error link is displayed, check the error message correct the connection information and retest the connection. Click Next. Under OMI Credentials, specify the username and password of an OMI user. It is recommended that you use a dedicated integration user. Make sure that you set up such a user upfront. This integration user does not need any special permissions. Specify proxy settings if needed, then click Finish. Check that the status changes from running to succeeded. As a result, you will see a new BSM integration under Integration Preferences in SiteScope, which was created automatically. As a best practice, adjust the default common event mapping. For example, add the monitor name and copy the more detailed information from the description field to the title field. It's also a best practice to send normal events as log-only events, which means they are sent as closed events into OMI so that they don't fill up the event browser. Click OK to save the mapping. If you already created monitors before the integration, update their integration settings using global search and replace. 
select the type monitor and all subtypes, select replace. Then under HP integration settings, select BSM service health affected by events. And also specify disable recording metrics. OMI does not process metrics and will just ignore them, but to avoid unnecessary network traffic, it's better not to send metrics. Complete the wizard. When creating new monitors in the future, make sure they show the following integration settings. Disable recording metrics. Report monitor and related CI topology. Send events. And BSM service health affected by events. After a while, you will start seeing side scope events like these in OMI that set health indicators, in this case, memory load and CPU load, and KPI and CI status. In OMI Performance Dashboard chart, you can now use SideScope metrics. Just select SideScope as a data source. You can use a variety of chart types to build a dashboard like this. And the direct UI integration using the SiteScope multi-view component allows you to drill down deeper and rerun monitors. This component can even be used to check monitor settings like thresholds or frequency or from within the Operations Bridge UI. You have now successfully integrated SiteScope into your Operations Bridge. To learn more about integrating SiteScope with OMI, see the OMI Integrations Guide.